Our challenge is that that future is in our hands. I enjoy teaching. You know, children are like clean sheets of paper. The real challenge to us is to help fill those pages with values. Our moral values, our ethical values, and the highest vision we have for the kind of nation we want to be. Think, mink, don't blink, or bad night. Let's fight fair for all of us, it's you and I. Think, mink, that's what I have to say. I fight for what's right with aloha, that's the way to think. Back, way back in the day, a Maui born gal had something to say. A sansei, third generation Japanese American, she experienced discrimination. So she caused the creation through the power of persuasion of Title IX. That's I to the X, a law that's mighty fine. Now here's the text. <clears throat> No person in the United States shall, on the basis of sex, be excluded from participation in, be denied the benefits of, or be subjected to discrimination under any education program or activity receiving federal financial assistance. Uh, that was a law, y'all. Title IX was instrumental in paving the way for women's equality in sports programs and beyond. And in 2002, the law was retitled the Equal Opportunity yeah. Education Act in honor of Patsy Me. Think, me, don't blink or bad an eye. Let's fight fair for all of us. It's you and I. Think, me, that's what I have to say. Fight for what's right with all of us. That's the way to it. Mowing in sugarcane fields raised in the country In school she fought against segregation Questioning racism in our nation She worked in D.C., worked hard to defend her neighbors and family and her friends Questions of conscience, of morality She posed to Congress to address the need The need to protect the most vulnerable Left out of the law, fighting the status quo For kids and women that want to learn more She fought for peace, anti-Vietnam War Her strong voice is echoing to this day Speaking truth to power in her own way Decades on decades of the daily grind Through law, her legacy is left behind for you and I Think me for that I let's fight fair for all of us, yes, you and I Think me, that's what I have to say Fight for what's right with the Lord, that's the end Think me Think me Think me No, cause there's a better way Yeah, yeah, yeah Think me, if you just think me Could you, maybe, think me, yeah Would you, could you, think about it Think it out, think me You have to remember that so many of the decisions that came about was because people got interested and involved and said, wait a minute, you're not gonna do it this way and things turned around That's what this whole thing is about be better. Maybe not for me. I can't change the past, but I can certainly help somebody else in the future so they don't have to go through what I did. I was the first woman of color, which is what I prefer people to remember. The first woman of color in the entire United States House of Representatives.
I think, yeah, I think people are going to be blown away by this. Like those who even know Patsy's story, it just gives so much new energy. And I also love that the target audience are, are young people. I was just personally inspired by her story when I read about her, um, you know, when she passed away. But it wasn't until a couple of years later that I started working on a film about her. I was struck by her. I wanted more people to know about her and that she really saw government as a way to help people and to lift people up. Um, I think I, I just really found that inspiring. And I think, you know, I resonated with that. Drum roll. Our next guest is Calvin Tamura. Calvin is a puppeteer artist and he is Patsy Mink's cousin. Calvin, can you, can you talk to us? Tell us a story about um, growing up. I was about eight. Eight years old. Yes. And, um, you know, you walk up to a door and you knock on the door and the person behind the door doesn't know what they're getting into. And I'm saying, will you vote for my cousin? And usually the door just went. So oh. It was oh. kind of early training for, you know, like disenfranchisement. And it just went, OK, <laughs> that's all right. I'll yep. go to the next door. Yeah. In many ways, she was a very nice cousin, you know, always thought about everybody in the family. Um, um, constantly being around as often as she could. I mean, she lived in Washington, mm -hmm. but you know, she came back quite often right, right. Um, and, and did political things as well as family things. So I heard y'all have some questions, huh? Mm -hmm. Yes, I feel happy to be here. 